I thought I'd make a short video on how I tend to maintain uh, my soldering tip, soldering all the foot which we've seen to date. So it's been a few weeks since I've actually used this and it's cold of course. But as you can see, I can't cover the tip uh, and solder to protect it. The two main things that affect the tip is heat and reaction with the oxygen in the air, so hence the oxidation. The higher the temperature, then the more it's going to oxidize, or the quicker it will oxidize. So we want to keep that covered. So we'll switch it on. And while we're waiting for that to heat up to the 380, which is my working temperature, we'll just uh, prepare the sponge. So this is just uh, distilled water, or you can use deionized water. They suggest not using tap water, uh, just to prevent any contaminates getting onto the, the tip. You can get distilled water from the supermarket. So that's just up to temperature now. So as you can see, it's smoking a wee bit. That's a flux and it's in a liquid state. So we want to just clean it off and we can just use the activated brass wool or wire. As you can see, very shiny because it's got a coating of uh, solder on it now. So that's it kind of ready to use. However, for the small parts that we use, we don't want some of this solder transferring onto the, the photo wedge. So what we do is we just clean it off on the, the sponge. So the damp sponge is essentially steam cleaning the tip because the moisture flashes instantly to steam. So as you can see, Hopefully you can see how it's coating on it now. So what I try to do is prepare all my parts so I can do one big session at the high temperature. Because remember, the higher the temperature, the quicker the nozzle or the tip, sorry, is going to oxidate. So this high temperature is actually the recommended temperature for the DCC 179 solder that I use mainly, but it also it's a good temperature for the solder paste and also this cheap generic uh, solder that I use later that you will see. And then we'll look at the temperatures in a minute. So again, this is just how we cleaned it up just then. Before I use it, every time I give it a quick blast on the sponge. So we'll just apply the flux. With the tip clean, you should just collect the solder off the, the wire quickly and easily and it sticks, it doesn't bead up or fall off. And then we can just apply it to the, the photo wedge. So again, when I would come to my, do my next joint, there's a bit of solder left, I would just give it a quick clean again, pick up some more and then do that part. Again, on to the next part, just give it a quick clean. So just keep blasting the, the tip with the, the sponge. The other instance is where we want to melt solder. It's already on the foot, which just by applying heat. So therefore we need to make sure there's nothing on the tip because if there was any beads on the tip, as soon as you touched it, it would transfer to the brass. And that's what we want to avoid. So just put a little bead of solder on there And there you go. Again, it's picked some up, we just clean it off. And then we go into the next part. So it's getting into the habit of just giving it a, a touch on the sponge before you do your next soldering activity. Okay. Now, again, because the heat oxidizes the tip, what I like to do if I'm going to be working on something but not soldering if you can you can reduce the temperature so i've kind of put a set standby temperature programmed at 250 degrees celsius and that just reduces the tip temperature so while i'm working on something else the tips cool down a bit to reduce the, the temperature so as you can see it slowly comes down but it's ready so when i'm ready to solder again i can just put it back up to my working 380 degrees 
if I was going to still be soldering, but it was going to take a bit of time before I was going to use it again, I may set it down to the lower 250, but I might also coat to the, the tip as well. So what you want to do on the plated part, you just want to make sure it's fully covered. You get a bit of smoke, that's a flux uh, burning off. And then I'll just put it back into the holder and I'll leave it at the, the 250. Once I'm ready to, to go again, I'll set it back up to my working temperature of 380 and just let that heat up. And you can see it's starting to smoke again because of the flux burning off. So I'm now ready to start going again with the soldering. Again, just get rid of the, the protective excess coat that we had on and then it's all tinned. Again, I just remove the excess because we don't want it transferring. And then I can go and start doing my uh, soldering again at the higher temperature. What I want to show you is we'll give this a clean now and hopefully you can see it's so bright and shiny it is. We'll put it away and leave it at the high temperature for say 10 minutes and then we can come back and have a look just to see if there's any colour change. So I've started a stopwatch and we'll come back after 10 minutes. But uh, that's what it looks like currently. Okay, so that's been sitting at the high temperature for 10 minutes now. And I'm not sure if you can see, but it's certainly dulled down and changed colour a wee bit. So oxidation has started. But to continue again, as always, just give it a clean. And it's brightened up again. So it should be ready to use. So that's really essential, sort of the basics that I use. I'm not saying it's uh, the correct way, the only way, the best way, but this is what I do and it, it works for me. The, eventually the plating on the tip will wear off, but if you keep it clean and keep it covered and keep the temperature high only when you're using it, then you should be able to extend the life of the tip. So now that we're finished, we're soldering, Again, we we'll just come in, we'll cover the, all the plated area. I like to just move it about just so it flows all around. Now, you can either reduce the temperature because you're going to come back shortly, or if you're finished, just put it into its holder and then we'll, we'll switch off. I hope that helps uh, answer any questions anyone has.